In this video, we're gonna look at how important agitation is to carpet cleaning. We've got some pink sand on a black rug. We're starting with the Recar R40P. The R40P has very aggressive agitation. You can see as it comes up on the pink sand, it starts to dance, actually getting the sand out of the nap of the carpet. You see those amber lights coming on, and those amber lights are indicating that the dirt finder uh, is picking up the fact that there is uh, dirt there. One swipe over, and then we pull back. There is no dancing sand left. Now we're going to compare it to the Shark Navigator. You can see that it does start to dance. There is some agitation going on, but not nearly as much as there is on the R40P. Now notice when we bring it back, there's still a good deal of sand left there. So not only is it not agitating as well, but with that weaker agitation, it's also not able to pick up that sand. Sand is a very heavy medium. It's very hard to remove from the nap of carpet. So it takes really aggressive uh, action to pull that up and out. We pull this back again. And again, there's some sand that straggles behind. What we're going to do is just for the sake of the demo, we are going to go ahead and vacuum over this another time using the shark because there is still visible sand left on the black rug. Now we're going to go back over that same area that we used the shark on and see what it left behind. And you can see as the Recar pulls up over the area of the rug that the shark just vacuumed over, that it is picking up a lot of the sand that the shark left behind. It's actually bouncing it up and out of the nap of the carpet. You can see the amber lights coming on, indicating that it has found dirt. And when we pull back, there is no sand left. We can do this again in another spot. And again, you can see a large amount of sand that was left behind. What this means is if you're using a machine that's not effectively agitating your flooring, it means that you're leaving dirt behind in the nap. And what that does is sand, dirt, all of that on a microscopic level has very sharp edges. So it works just like miniature razor blades that cut at the nap of your carpet as you walk over it day in and day out. If that is not removed, it starts to wear the carpet and that's when you start to see traffic patterns and you start to get those areas where you can no longer get the uh, carpet to pick up. So when it comes to choosing a vacuum, particularly if you're going to be using it on carpet or on uh, plush area rugs, you're going to want to get a vacuum that can agitate it properly. And the R40P is an excellent choice. If you have any questions, please come and see us at the House of Axe.